One of the complaints I get from viewers of my channel is, hey, I love to watch your videos, but you know what? Sometimes I don't want to be on YouTube. I don't like YouTube as a service, as a platform. I don't want to have to have an account to watch your YouTube videos. Well, guess what? There are ways to watch YouTube without actually having to be on YouTube. One of the ways I've shown you in the past is a command line tool called YouTube-DL, which allows you to just download my videos and watch them locally on your machine at your leisure. Another option is this really neat cloud music player that I found the other day called Olivia. Olivia lets you watch or listen to YouTube, or it also lets you listen to internet radio. It also lets you listen to your favorite tracks over on SoundCloud. Really neat little program. So let me go to their GitHub page. So the source code for Olivia is hosted on GitHub. It is, in fact, free and open source software. It's licensed under the MIT license. It is an elegant music player for Linux. You see here in the title, and it's got Linux in all caps. So Linux is a first-class citizen, which it often is when it comes to free and open source software. Most folks, if they're developing free and open source software, develop on Linux. And then, if they have time, they might port it to those proprietary operating systems. Windows and Mac. Looking at the GitHub page, you can see to install Olivia, you can install it from the Snap Store. Snaps, of course, are distro agnostic packages. If you have Snaps enabled on your distro, all you need to do is sudo snap install Olivia. Going back to the GitHub page, there is also an Arch Linux package. It is packaged in the AUR, and that is how I installed it. I just did a simple yay space dash capital S Olivia. So let me switch to my desktop here, and this is Olivia. Now again, this is a cloud music player, so it's designed to pull down music or music and video from cloud services. It's not really designed for you to listen to your local music library on your system. You can see in the far left-hand column, in under this column that says Other, you have YouTube, Internet Radio, and SoundCloud. This is the services that Olivia connects to by default. The most interesting one for me, anyway, is YouTube. If I wanted to, I could search for something to watch on YouTube, such as DistroTube. And then I could just click on one of these. And let me make this floating here in my tiling window manager so you can see what's going on. And I'm just going to click on that, and it puts it over here in the playlist queue. If I wanted to play it, I could double-click it. Windows 7 has now reached its end of life. So a couple and of days default, ago, it's just Windows playing 7, the audio the only. Let me pause that. If I wanted to play the video, what I could do is go in here, and then I could click View Options. And it's going to ask me exactly what I want to do here. What exactly do I want to do as far as audio quality or video quality? I will choose the highest audio and the highest video. By default, it doesn't pull down the video, but if you tick it on, it will download the video. You could download it, and it's basically a front end to YouTube DL. It'll download this to your local machine. That way, you can always watch this video. You can pull it up again and again and again, or you could just click watch and watch it one time, and it will just load it up in a window right here. Windows 7 has now reached So pretty neat way to watch YouTube without you actually having to be on YouTube, right? The YouTube DL is a command line utility. I recommend you guys that do not want to be on the YouTube platform, and I get that. If you want a graphical front end, an easy-to-use graphical front end for YouTube DL, Olivia is a really nice player. Olivia does give you the option to save music locally, just download it. It also gives you the option of liking something. That way you can always come back to it really quickly if there's a favorite song or a favorite video of yours. So if I go to liked songs right here and I click on it, apparently I really like listening to me and Richard sing the free software song as a duet. So I've got that quickly here. If I, anytime I want to listen to this song, I just click the liked songs in the sidebar and I can quickly give us a beat go and Richard, listen to it Richard. and it sounds good good, good like audio it. quality I like this that's tight join us now and share the software you'll be free hackers you'll be free 
course, Olivia also lets you check out Internet Radio. For command line Internet Radio, guys, check out a video I did a while back on a program called Curse Radio. Uh, this is kind of like a front end. Not, I don't know if they use Curse Radio, but it's a front end to something like that. You know, it lets you search by country or by language, lets you find exactly the station you want to play. I'm not going to click on any of these and play the audio from that because it's okay for me to play my own music, my own YouTube videos, but I don't want to play the radio station audio. But trust me, the internet radio portion of Olivia works just fine. There is also the option of listening to SoundCloud. Again, I won't play anything from SoundCloud, but those of you that use that service, Olivia works just fine for that. So anyway, it's just a quick video on Olivia. It's a really neat program. It's one that I could see myself using specifically for just watching YouTube videos without actually having to be on YouTube. I kind of like that aspect of it. And it's certainly a project that I will continue to follow going forward as far as their development. Before I go, I need to thank a few special people. This show was made possible by Chris, DJ Donnie, Dylan, George, Haplo, Nate, Corbini, and Lambda, Michael, Mitchell, Rob, Sean, Stallman, and Willie. These guys are the producers of the show, my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without them, this episode about Olivia Cloud Music Player wouldn't have been possible. The show is also brought to you by all those other fine ladies and gentlemen, all those names you're seeing on the screen right now. Those guys help support my work over on Patreon. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider doing so. You'll find me at DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.